Hey everybody and welcome back um, to a super short vlog today. I'm going to tell you why. I was not even planning on vlogging because today is kind of like Barry's day off and he was getting a lot of work done around the house. Honestly, I've gone so much this weekend. We've just been on the road, on my feet. I was super swollen last night and I was like, Barry, I've really got to get off my feet. I've just got to take today and just lay in bed and rest. I wasn't planning to get up to do anything but take a shower and go right back to bed with no makeup on. Just rest. That was my plan. And here we are, dressed and out of the house. Right, Briley? So, I'll tell you what's going on. Um, I've noticed that um, I've had a little bit of like drainage or leakage. I don't know exactly what you want to call it, but through my new piece of tape I put on just recently, like this weekend, I noticed a little spot. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to think twice about it. Well, by the time we got to the aquarium yesterday, because we just had a busy weekend, it was a lot more on the bandage. And I was looking at Briley, I was like, would you worry about it? Briley's like, no, Mama, it's fine. I was like, okay, you're probably right. Didn't think much of it. Then I get home last night and I'm so swollen. I'm massaging my stomach and doing all my little stuff. And I noticed, I looked at my incision like through the tape and on this side, I noticed it was leaking over there through the tape. So I called Barry in there because she didn't fell asleep in my bed. She was out like a light. I called Barry in there and I was like, um, can you go get me a Q-tip and shine this flashlight? And when I lifted that tape up on the side, ew. It was like drainage, like yellowish, clearish. Well, I wouldn't say it was clear. It was cloudy yellow fluid. Good news is it had no smell. Bad news is I'm just not sure why I'm leaking like that. Maybe that's normal on the internet. Some people said it was, some people said it wasn't. They said it's just best to, you know, talk to your doctor and see what they say. So that was a new spot. Well, then we're sitting there. I was like, well, let me try to get to this spot that's kind of in the middle on this side of my belly button at the bottom. So I lifted it and immediately it's just like, oh God, I don't want to say it's like a puddle of goo. So bad. Put the Q-tip in there and it's like almost brownish thick smelt. You know, and I was like, and I look open. I look so open in that area. I was like, oh no, I can't do this. The part over here on this side, um, I have like a little opening there, and I think that's what's leaking, but I'm not sure if that is normal. Is it supposed to be there? It looks like where you'd have a drainage tube, okay? But I had a drainless tummy tuck. So I'm not really for sure exactly why that looks open. I'm gonna ask today. Um, and then the spot in the middle, I have no, I can't pull the tape back. I'm just a baby and I'm freaking out. So I text or no, I emailed um, the clinical team and said, hey, so over the weekend, I've noticed a, a spot oozing through my bandage. And then I've got a new spot that just popped up that's draining as well. And one didn't have an odor, but the other's like thick, brown smells. You know, I'm just not sure. I said, honestly, I look open in that area and I'm kind of terrified to even do anything. And she's like, okay, no worries. Don't worry about it. She's like, um, come in. Let's see you today and let's change your bandage. Don't worry about changing it. So she's going to change it for me today. Look at it and see what's going on. My biggest fear is I'm going to go in here and they want to like open it up a little bit to clean it out. I'm going to lose it. Um, oh gosh, just because that's going to give me heebie jeebies. Um, also, I've not taken my tape off the upper. Today's the day I'm supposed to do it. So I'm going to ask really nicely if they will be willing to do it for me. I'm hoping they will. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're doing today. This is going to be a short vlog. Just want to come on and give you guys an update. Um, we are week three today. Today is three weeks since surgery, and I'm having a little bit of trouble, um, but it's not too bad. And they also can look at that band that's on my stomach, which has gotten better, but I do still have it. So I'm going to let them look at that and just check everything out see what it looks like. I wasn't supposed to come back for three more weeks, but with this drainage, it just kind of you know freaks me out and worries me. I just want to make sure it's not infected and it looks okay. And I'm hoping I go in here and they're like, oh yeah, it's fine. Let's just clean it up, retape it, and you're good to go. Biggest fear is they have to open it up and like clean it out um, or I have to put my antibiotic. I just hate taking antibiotics. So that's the deal. How are you, Briley? Good. You look tired. You're I'm getting hungry too. But we're going to get this done and then we're going to head back to the house. But I'm going to get this done. I'll come back and let you guys know what they said, of course. I uh, don't know if we'll film inside because I'm not going to have any clothes on and I don't think that would be appropriate for a family channel. But we'll definitely get you an update as soon as I find out something. 
And just like that, by the magic of vlogs, we're back in the car. I didn't film anything in there. I didn't even film the waiting room. I could have done that. But me and her were talking and stuff. Um, they said everything looked great. They didn't think it was infected. Um, she said that it looks fine, but I do have two open spots. And what does she call them? <laughs> so anyway, um, she took off my bandages, looked at everything. Probably. Right. She's laughing at the lady beside of us. <laughs> She walked out. She like she's hurting, but I get it. If she just has some work done. That stuff is like painful. Um, she cannot drive though. Look. Oh my god! Why is she going out crooked? What's she doing? Y'all, bless her. She cannot. Oh my god, she's gonna hit you. Oh my god! What's she doing? She's trying to go out the other way, but it just ain't working. Yeah, see? She's trying to back out that way, watch. And she's still going the wrong way. Why? I don't, what is she? Turn your wheel, girl, the other way. What is she doing? Oh, gosh. Should we get out of here? What is she doing? Is she oh, did she hit that it? car back there behind her? Is she good? Oh, she's close. Oh, stop. Okay. All right, I think she got it. You guys, I think she got it. Anyway, back to my story. So I had two little openings. She called them something. Do you know what she called them, Briley? Mm -mm. Two little openings. Put some cream on there, put a gall. I've got to do that now for the next three weeks. She changed my dressings up top. She just ripped them off like it was no big deal and redressed it. So she said, no infection. This is something that they see in patients. And she said, all is good, right? So at least it got done. I didn't have to change my dressing or anything today. I'm feeling really good about that. But um, yeah, so that's the update. We're going to head to the house now. Home sweet home. Went to dinner. It was great. Came home. Kayla came out and hung, hung out a little bit with the babies. And then um, her friend Lizzie stopped by, hung out for a little bit. And we just chit-chatted and everything. But now it's like almost, oh, God, is it going on 11? Yeah, it's almost 11 o'clock. I am so tired. Chris and Briley are in there watching a the movie. Aiden actually had something go really weird with his tooth tonight. He lost a back tooth, but he only lost half of it. And where he lost it, it looks like he's got two little blood clots. So now I'm concerned what those are. So now I'm going to call the dentist tomorrow to be like, uh, this don't look normal. Should I bring him in and let you look? What do you want me to do? And kind of explain to him what it looks like. I did take a picture. It's really gross. I'm not going to show you guys, but it just looks odd. So I want to make sure his mouth's okay. But I don't know. He pulled that little piece out. And he said the whole thing's kind of loose, but he, he hadn't pulled it out yet. And I'm like, maybe you shouldn't mess with it anymore tonight because it just does not look right. But yeah, that's it. We're getting ready to call it a night, go to sleep. I'm going to watch a movie and then go wash my face shortly and go to bed. But sorry this was a short one today. I told you guys it would be. Just want to pick the camera up for you guys and kind of let you know what's going on and what happened today. And hopefully all is well with my incision and nothing else goes crazy. But yeah, that's the only update I got right now. Just other than we're all exhausted. <laughs>